This review is going up so freaking late. <laughs> What's up, Crocs and Clan members, Fairy Tale fans, and others who will stomp on this video? I'm Sora Crocs, and I am here to review episode 5 of Fairy Tale Zero. And I know it's kind of late, and I apologize. Time flew out, just, just flew by, just left me just hanging. And I apologize, I'm sorry. Now, this episode is kind of a mix of canon and filler. So, like, there's stuff in the, like, most of the stuff in the episode is canon. But the flashback is actually filler. Like, the, 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 the whole story, the, the, that didn't happen in the manga. And like I said, that, that's, the thing about this 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 manga is it's really short. <clears throat> so obviously, I expected filler content to be in, in the episodes. Uh, that's why I said episode 3 technically was a filler episode. And we're, we're, I'm assuming we're going to get a couple more to actually fill the gap of the whole 12, 13 episodes that are going to be shown throughout the season. So... Uh, I wasn't surprised when they had a uh, little filler arc. The whole them meeting up and they're getting to the forest and decided to go camping. That actually happens in the manga. The second Warren and Yuri start fighting is when it comes becomes filler. We get the whole uh, flashback from uh, Purahito, and I'm gonna call him Purahito for the rest of the season. I'm telling you that right now. It's no longer pressed. It's Purahito. That just that I just don't like press. I always see him as Furuhito. So he gives them the flashback of how they were gonna, they were treasure hunting. They were going to treasure hunt to go for a flower. And so you know they were all three adventuring. They went to this place, uh, Health Canyon, or, or and then like uh, poisonous gas was in the area, and they had to go through it to go to some ruins. And then the thing about these ruins is that they kind of went against the standard for treasure hunters, which is Traps are bad and they keep you away from the treasure, but in this case the traps lead you to the treasure because the treasure Summons a giant monster and it feeds on your body So yeah, so a lot of stuff a lot of shenanigans happen. They get to where the flower is Yuri like tries to pull it out and a freaking monster it comes out of nowhere and then just starts attacking them and it was crazy, they, but they got the flower. They got the flower, and they were successful in their endeavors. And it was great. And uh, I just like, gotta admit, like it shows Purohito's, you know, he's kind of a genius. Like I, I can, I slowly getting to see like the anime. It's helping, is helping the fact that Purohito makes sense why he was a second master. But that's besides the point. Uh, he cut off the roots of the, the monster, because it was technically a plant. Uh, and then Yuri was able to get the flower and put it in a way, in a little magic gourd thing that he had in his freaking pouch, or, you know, around his waist. Uh, and they were able to be successful, they got the flower, whatever, you know, they were good, good treasure, and then they still maintain as a group. You know, Warren and, and, and Yuri apparently made up off screen, because, you know, they were... Uh, like I said, this is technically filler, so they never actually fought in the manga or argued. Nothing like that happened. They didn't go off anywhere. The point, and the point is, they 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 brought a fish. By the way, that wasn't cooked. Okay, that fish looked raw as hell. I first, I first of all, I didn't even see eat seafood. But if I did, I would not eat that because that was not cooked. That looked raw as hell. Just saying. I don't know how these people were eating that. And then. We we get back to actual manga canon stuff. Uh, say, you know Yuri and our Mavis is essentially talking about how she trusts them. You know they're, they're you know worried a little bit like you shouldn't be so trustworthy. And then you know Yuri's talking about the Tenro Jade and now when they get it he's taking it because it's an S class item. And then you know the the fact that there's gonna, there's gonna be something there. And then Yuri's talk you know and then. Basically, Yuri was reminding her that this was still, like, only a negotiable, like, they, they were only comrades until they got the, 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 the item. And, you know, Baby was like, yeah, I know, I know, you're just reminding me. And then Zeta disappears, to which prompts, you, you know, Mavis to want to go look for her. And then Ward and, and Purahito are like, maybe we should give her the item back. And then he's like, no, I'm not giving up. I'm going to outwit Mavis. Which, by the way, you can't do because she's a freaking genius. Okay, she is a mastermind at everything. Okay, except for the stuff that she never read. Okay, like the fact that she saw the dead trees and she didn't understand what was going on. 
I know what was going on. And if you guys, pick, you know, are up to your lore and, you know, fairy tale, you should know why the trees were like that and why the whole forest was dead. I'm not going to say it because that would be wrong, but you should know why that happens. And then we get the scene. I love this. Like I said, I, there's always something in the manga that are, in every chapter that I just generally love. And it was this this part right here. Although they did make some changes, and I'm going to point them out because it made sense why they did that. Uh, so they're, they're in the... Mavis finds Sarah. She's, like, sitting near a lake, and she's thinking about, you know, all the stuff that we're talking about right now. And how Mavis saved her life, and how she wanted to protect Mavis, but ever since they left the island, she's just been scared, and she doesn't know what to do when she feels like she can't help protect Mavis. Uh, and then Mavis does the whole, well, you're my best friend, all I need you is right next to me, which was adorable. Uh, and then she's like, no, it's not enough. I need to be able to protect you. Teach me magic. Teach me magic so that whenever we get to Blue Skull, I'm able to help you beat them. And then when we eventually have to fight against, you know, the group that we're with right now, I want to be able to help you. I want to be able to protect you. Which, it, it's, it's true. Like, Sarah right now is... She feels useless. Like, Mavis has magic, and the other three are treasure hunters with some variety of skills. You know? Seta doesn't have anything right now, except for her wit and just general charm, you know? <laughs> I, I love Seta, by the way. Uh, and then, you know, she, he's, she's like, you know what? Sure, okay, let's do this. And she's like, all right, let's get this started now. And then she falls on the lake, and she invites Mavis in, like, back in the island, and then doing the whole fun thing, you know, splashing water on each other and doing all this stuff. And then Zeta's like, hey, look, a fairy. And then maybe it's like, what? Where? And then the the, the thing that happens in the opening where Zeta's like hugging Mavis, that's when we see that scene. That was one of the spoilers in the opening that I was not very comfortable with because that was, it's a very emotional point. Like that, that part right there, it's supposed to be a very emotional scene. And they just flat out put it in the opening and just... I started, I was like, no! Uh, so that was a spoiler. Now, the thing that they changed, before I, I tell you how the episode ended, the thing they changed is, technically speaking, in the manga, they were both naked. I can understand why they changed it in the anime, because you can't have two underage girls naked in a lake hugging each other, because that's just wrong, you know? I mean, I, I, I got why they, I understood why they did that. I, I, I was not, I, I was okay with it. I was okay. I did not need to see them naked at all because in the manga, it doesn't look as bad because obviously the way they dry it, it makes it look not as, uh, how do I say this, sexual or obscene. But when you animate a scene, it, it's, things can get weird. So I, I, I completely agree with the fact that they were in bathing suits. Uh, so that was just a thing that they just had to change. And then after that, we get to Magnologia, and then they're in there, and they're talking about they want to see the, the cathedral, the church, and stuff like that. And then the giant blue skull dragon, skeleton dragon, is like on top of the cathedral, which is blue skull. That's the guild. So we're going to get some fun stuff next episode. I hope so. Let's see if they change anything else. I I don't know. Like, I'm I like I said I'm still upset. That that's not the the biggest spoiler in the opening that I was just complete. I didn't like that spoiler either. But there's another one that I, I'm not gonna talk about until it happens in the anime. That just, mmm, just 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 mmm, pisses me off. But anyways, guys, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Link in the description when you go watch the episode. And as always, my name is Source Crossing. And I'll see you guys in future episodes.